Hello everybody and welcome to this video where we're going to learn how to get our phone connected to Zoom to use as a document camera or a second webcam. Okay, this is great if you need to flip back and forth between two different locations or if you're trying to figure out how to show something on your desk. So let's get this going. You'll need four things. You'll need your iPhone. You need your cable, either from Lightning to a USB-C or a USB-A, whatever came with your phone. I think both should work. And you'll need your Camo app for your phone and the Camo Studio app for your computer. I'm going to show you how to download and get to all of those things right now. So here is our app store. We're going to the bottom right to search for the word Camo, C-A-M-O. The first result, Reincubate Camo, is the one we are looking for. We're going to download it. It is a free app. No need to spend any money on it unless you want some of the more advanced features, which at this point, we're just trying to get a quick document camera up, so no need to worry about all those extra expenses. The app looks like this, a little camera in blue and white. We're going to click on it, and it's going to take us to our setup stages. You can read through here, continue. It's going to ask us to get Camo Studio on our computer, so let's go ahead and do that. You can click whatever option it is showing you. I've got a Mac, so that's what it's showing for me. After you connect your device to your Mac, you're going to read the instructions in Camo Studio, which we'll go through together. So we're going to open up our web browser to get to the Camo Studio. And we're gonna click on the reincubate.com camo. And you're gonna find the download studio option. We're gonna click the download to free edition, and it's gonna automatically download whatever to whatever computer you're using. I've already got it installed, so I'm not gonna go through the installation process, just follow the steps there. After you've downloaded the app, you should be able to find it in your applications or in your uh, Windows browser wherever you go to to find your applications and we'll open it up it says no devices connected well, let's go back to the phone and see what we have there so the instructions on our computer tell us to connect and launch the camo app I'm gonna hit the get started button and it will update to show whatever is happening in front of your camera now let me show you what's also happening on my computer. So now in my studio, it's showing the feed from my phone. This is what we need. We can double check our settings to make sure everything is good to go, but you really shouldn't have to play around with much. What you may notice is that if you try to increase your resolution, it's restricting to the pro accounts. But again, if all you're doing is a simple webcam for your Zoom sessions, this is all that you need. If you want, you can turn the watermark on and off for when you are using it in your stream. Uh, it doesn't really matter, but I'll click the leave it on button so you can see what I'm talking about when I open up Zoom. So let's do that. Let's open up Zoom. And we're going to open up a test Zoom so that we can see what it looks like. Right now, everything is off. I'm going to turn some things on hit my video and the first thing that pops up is my camera to my computer now my phone is gonna operate through camo reincubate camo so what I just did there was that I went down to my video button I clicked the little arrow and then I can click on reincubate camo and watch what happens boom it shows the feed from my phone and and actually, I don't even see that little camo watermark, so you really don't have to worry about that at all. Nice. It's only on your phone, but not actually going through Zoom. So, now from here, I can set up my camera however I want it to. I can turn it to face me from another point of view. Sorry for all the bumps. Da -da boom. There we go. Yikes. Sorry. And now you've got a second camera that you can flip back and forth to. So, really exciting. I highly recommend you give this a try. It's free, it's quick, it's easy, and it uses something that you already have, your phone. All right, everybody, thank you for watching this video. Give a like if this helped you out. Subscribe for more videos like this, and let me know how it went. 
I'll see you in the next video.